Hey guys, November 2nd. Friday night, I came up uh, into canyon number three, behind three canyons, and there it is. You can see what it looks like. I've never been in here. It's really steep. <laughs> it goes down about 800 feet down there. <sighs> Let me bring you into the divide. And you can pick up what I'm looking at here. It's pretty, the view is spectacular. That's about 10 miles as the crow flies there from my position. You can see the top of the cloud, a mountains there making their own clouds. Now the reason I'm up here is because I'm looking for some uh, lost Pueblo sites. They're here. Grammy! She's here. Right here. There you go, good girl. She's keeping the lions at bay. So there's this inner portion here. This is a very steep slope I'm on, so bear with me. Now I can see there, this might have been a walkway to get back here. And I've already found some rock structures. See the caves up there? That's where I'm headed. They're all over. And there's in fact a massive cave up top here right around there. So that is, I think, going to be an amazingly productive area. I'm going to find lots of artifacts, arrowheads, and maybe the secret lost culture I'm looking for here. <laughs> Check it out. If I'm thirsty, there's snow. Mm. I hope an elk didn't pee on that. So, there's also some uh, interesting things happen on top of this hill. And I found a pretty sick rock cave down in here, which is filled in and needs excavation. So I just wanted to bring you up here into canyon number three at Three Canyons. Lots of snow predicted coming. It's not supposed to be warm. And there's definitely a fire burning. I don't know if you could pick up on the haze. And you could pick up on how low the sun is with this shadow being <laughs> down there. Now, if I were to go around the corner here, I'd be blinded. It took about an hour to get up here. Half hour, I'm a liar, I'm fast, I run right up and it'll be even faster going down. A lot to explore here. I'm totally stoked to be back here for the first time ever. And I'm coming back soon. Thanks for joining me. Be well. Well, we made it. I pushed on. Went up about 500 more feet and here we are. Top of the world. <sighs> That is just not doing it justice. I might have low res on, I gotta check this. Now I wanna show you something that's astounding. I am in the most <laughs> rugged, steep, impossible to get to area you could imagine. Um, whew, I mean, it is straight down. I don't know if you can do that justice. There's a cliff in front of me that drops off hundreds of feet. And right at the edge of the cliff, there's this structure I found here. 
that I do need to investigate. It is right on the edge of the cliff, so I'm not going there with the dog. Notice the trees right there are really tiny. That is on the edge of a cliff, folks. A mile vertical into the wilderness of the high desert. On the south side here, there it is. I'm, I don't know what it is, but it was definitely put there for me to look at. Here, come check out. Looks like ceremonial, could be a fireplace. I'm not going there with this dog. These are my roots home. Any of these, there's the third canyon, here's the second canyon. Any of these spines take me right back to the ranch down there. This is the first time I've seen this and I am stoked. I have no idea what it is. It's far out there on the cliff. Perfectly flat slab on top. As if laser cut, no one brought that up here. Uh, it's from up here. <laughs> There's no way they carried that up here. So, you can see how far the valley is below. And that is on the edge of the precipice. And I'm not going down there because I don't have a leash for the dog. But I will be back here. It's my backyard. Whew, that was worth the extra effort. It's going to be a killer sunset. Yes! And that thing is just mystifying way down there. What is that on the edge of the cliff? I wonder if there's any people in there. Okay. There's Oppenheimer, aka Three Canyons. That's the river. And there's the sun setting. Be safe, everybody. There's an antelope in the sky. Well, I'm uh, about halfway down and I wanted to show you some elk poop. <laughs> I also wanted to show you the route I took. Um, real quick, you can see the scale of this gully. These boulders are like 30 feet high and then it almost goes vertical here. So I was up on top of this, bu that bump there. And that structure is absolutely sitting on the top of that tippy top there. Of that. It's a fault block. There's actually a fault in here and this big block slumped down. It used to be up top here. And I accessed it from this rib. And then we came down through the gully, traversed over. And I want to show you the most ultimate elk path in the woods. Look at that highway. So you would just need to camp here, wake up in the morning, and shoot dinner right there on the Elk Super Highway. That's what that is. Gremlin knows. Pretty awesome. We're almost at the cabin. It's down in here. You can see the tiny house. on the river. So we're almost there. I'm gonna finish what I'm doing. Just thought I'd share the scale, the enormity of it all. And then there's the cave I'm gonna be going in soon. Up there. This slot is enormous. 120 feet high, 20 feet wide. And then you can obviously see another little tiny hole right there. So we gotta get up there. Who's coming? Be safe. And that's a boom. It's sunset.